Good morning everyone, this is uh, Costa Della Great Missenden. Uh, today I'm going to be making pulled pork with a difference. The difference is, it's snowing. Right, hi guys, back again. Um, here I am, I've got the meat down here. Don't know how well that's picking it up, but that's uh, a 5 kilogram pork butt that I brought from Morrison's. There we go. Um, it's rubbed down with some um, barbecue rub called uh, by Three Little Pigs, and it's their Kansas City Champion one. Um, it's very nice. So I, I really like it. It's one of the first rubs I used when I started doing this. Um, so yeah, if you can buy it, it's worth it. Um, here we go. We've got the temperature outside. It's a toasty half a degree, and nice and warm in here. It's 19, so I must be mad. Right, I'll see you in a little while. Better get it started up, otherwise it's going to run late and that might be trouble. Right, here I am outside under my shelter. Um, just started up the starter. So, um, let's go in. With any luck, the barbecue gods will be kind. I thought I'd show you a little bit of the snow, if you can see it. I'm not sure how well it's going to come out, but it is snowing. I don't know if you can pick it up. Come round a bit. I think it's um, possibly one of my daftest da ideas. Doing the biggest lump of pork I've ever cooked in the winter, in the snow. I'd say this is extreme barbecuing. Um, I'll show you what wood I'm using today. I've got some pecan chips because I've still got loads left. And a uh, cherry chunk out of my woodshed from um, my uncle Gary he's a jolly good chap made him some bacon I hope he likes it all right hi guys here I am again smoke is off and running now um, right. oh, it's going up 29 degrees C so it's not quite up to temperature yet fingers crossed that it get there but I thought it's running so late I've got to put it in and see how things go um, hopefully it's gonna hit a decent temperature really soon. Um, I know it's the wrong way to do it but it's seven o'clock in the morning and I've been doing this since five. I'm really cold, hungover and um, yeah let's we'll see how it gets on. I'm sure things will work out fine. Hi everybody, Costa Della Great Missenden. Um, today I'm doing pork shoulder. Um, the weather isn't being particularly kind but under my shelter, smoking away. Uh, Barrel struggling to be honest. It's sitting at 100, 180. Um, so it's not even up to temperature. It's been running an hour. I've got pretty much all of the top vents open now, bar two. Um, might have to open all of them and bring it up. But it's snowing, it's pretty. But the meat's not cooking, so it's not very nice. Hi guys, welcome back to Costa Del Great Missenden. Things have moved on a bit. Um, we're running at 153 Fahrenheit internal temperature and um, 297 Fahrenheit in the drum itself. So what I've got to do is cool it down. And the way I'm going to do that is by adding some, uh, blocking my exhaust and adding a bung stop the airflow under the basket so I'm going to do that now hopefully calm things down a little bit close half of it as well that should drop it down a fair bit and have a look at the meat in a second right so um, I'm going to open up the lid see what's going on give it a probe with my thermal pen I better get that out first so I don't lose too much temperature good. What's happening? Sixty-seven point one. Sixty-nine. One. All good. I'll give you a little look-see close up. 
I've done it in a tray today because I couldn't be bothered to put it on the rack. It is Christmas. I did drink a lot of gin last night, so at the moment it's all looking good. Hopefully, you won't be late. <laughs> right, hi guys, back again. It's um half two in the afternoon. Looking all right, actually. Not bad. Have a look. Looking quite good. The meat's coming along nicely. I'm just going to give it a little baste. Got a good, good bark on it. Smells amazing. I'll bring you in for a little look. Cover it up and off we go again. Hopefully that'll be done in a couple of hours. As you can see, it's not as snowy as it was. Um, yeah, that's all gone away, luckily. Um, still a toasty one degree outside, but uh, can't grumble. Pork's cooking, so we'll see you in a little while temperature so we're going to have a look at it now and see what's going on which you can see is a bit dark um, the time now is nearly seven o'clock so it took a little bit longer than what I was expecting but um, we'll take it off and put it put it to rest for a little bit and I'll show you results in a little bit let's take the take the lid off and see what we got oh, the smell is absolutely amazing really really nice I apologise for the headlight, but unfortunately, it's the best I can do. Right, hi guys, welcome back to Costa Della Great Missenden. Um, just pulled the meat off the smoker. Um, let's hit target temp. The crust looks pretty good. I'll just bring it in so we can see it. It's fairly decent. Um, I'll just bring it round. Hopefully you'll be able to get a little bit more light on it. So we can see. Yeah. I need to rest that a little bit. And um I should be having that in half an hour or so once it's rested. Well, hi guys, welcome back to Costa the Great Missenden. Um pork's done eventually. Um it's been resting for a little while. See, doesn't look too shabby. Nice and juicy and sticky. What I'm going to do is um, just get in with my hands and try and fill it to pieces. Yeah, that looks quite good. I'm going to take some out. Get the family around, so they're all very, very hungry. <laughs> Um, yeah, as you can see that beautifully, beautifully, lovely cool pork. I'm going to put that in a bowl. I'm going to keep some of the juices with it. Right, it's literally just falling into pieces. Very good result. Really, really, really happy with this. Lift it up. Can you see the smoke ring? Yeah, if you can see the smoke ring as well, I don't know how well you can pick that up. Where's the camera? Yeah. Really happy with this cook. It took a long time, but the pork is brilliant. It's falling into pieces. Got a good bark on it as well. Should be really nice and tasty. So, what I've done was Seasoned it overnight with three little pigs, um, barbecue rub. Put it in the smoker this morning at um, about six o'clock. And the time's now eight o'clock, <laughs> which is a 14 hour cook in total. Now save that for later on. This can be for dinner tonight. As I said, really happy with this. Um, let's put this over here. 
hopefully we'll be able to pick this up just how soft this meat is because it's come out brilliantly. Really, really happy. No, it just. took it off the smoker at um, 200, no it wasn't, it was 198 in the end and rested it for 45 minutes and as you can see it's all paid off because it's absolutely beautiful, really really happy with this. The smoker run like an absolute trooper considering back down to half a degree outside we started off there as well we had a little bit of a stall and a spike but you expect that but it was solid all day quality job hi guys out with Costella Great Missenden as you can see the pork is done it's looking pretty good Nice and full, rested it for 45 minutes. We give it three little pigs barbecue rub um, overnight and then a little bit before it went on. Whacked it on at six in the morning and then um, pulled it off about an hour ago. So it was at seven o'clock, it's eight o'clock now. So it's a 14 hour cooking process, if you like, in total. We've got some nice sweet potato fries coming up to go with this and a little bit of salad. Um, need to get it cooked really quick because everybody's starving. It did overrun, but this sort of thing always does. So um, I'd like to wish everybody a very, very happy new year because that's coming up soon. And I'll see you again for another video. Bye.